All right, Chris, thank you. The annual Bull and Oyster Fest kicks off in about a week, and while people do enjoy food, this is all for a good cause. Joining us now is Mr. Greg. He is the organizer of the Bull and Oyster Fest, and good morning, sir. How are you? Morning. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So how many years have we been hosting the Bull and Oyster Fest? This is the 15th annual, minus a few years, uh, Bull and Oyster Fest for us here. And so when people go out to the Bull and Oyster Fest, what can we expect? Uh, it's going to be a great afternoon. We're going to have barbecue, oysters served several ways. We're going to have fresh chef fried and roasted. Uh, we're going to have live music from Gary Ruley and Mule Train and some craft beer, a little wine. Uh, it's all under a tent, so no matter what the weather is, it's going to be a good day because you're going to be protected. If it gets too cold, we'll have some heaters. Um, so it's going to be at the Virginia Hoist Center uh, next Saturday, April 1st, from 1 to 5 p.m. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, we're showing pictures of these oysters uh, at the festival right now. I know you can't see. But we talked to us about some big names as far as, like, some big wigs who attended the event in the past. Yeah, so we've had a lot of uh, local bands play here. And uh, it's been a really good turnout last year. We hadn't had the event in a few years, and last year was a great turnout. We take, took a look at everything we did last year and basically tried to do whatever we could do to improve it. It's going to be a really good time. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is it was it like over 700 people that attended? Uh, in the Almost 800. Uh, and we're already expected to have more than uh, 800 this year, too. Uh, it's going to be uh, we're getting really close to selling out. We have less than 100 tickets left, actually, right now. How does it feel to see so many people over, at least now, over 800 people to support, uh, one, the fest, but then the other part of that question, too, is that this is also for a good cause? Uh, yeah, this is a benefit for the Rock Ridge Area Health Center. Uh, we are a community health center, and we basically we serve any patients, regardless of insurance status, income status, and it's just a great uppouring of the community to have such a good uh, turn out to support such a great cause. How significant and how important, uh, first of all, is the organization to help the community? Uh, well, in Rockbridge, uh, we have over 7,000 patients. Uh, about 70% of people in Rockbridge County uh, fall, be under, fall under the uh, federal uh, poverty lines. And we take care of anybody, no matter what. Uh, so that's a really big deal for us to be able to serve anybody no matter what their situation is beautiful beautiful again we're going to sh we're showing pictures of the rockbridge fest previously it was held at another location and now it's going to be held where uh this year it's going to be at the virginia horse center uh we've had it it started off as a really small event uh, we had it in our parking lot at the health center we had it at devil's backbone and it's grown throughout the years and now we are going to be in a gigantic circus tent at the Virginia Horse Center. It's about 200 feet long. Uh, so it's come a long way. And uh, the community has really shown a lot of support for us to be able to host such a big event. Uh, if we wanted to purchase tickets, how much are they and where do we go? Uh, tickets are available online. Uh, they're at our website. Uh, they're at rock, R-O-C-K, A-H-C, for Area Health Center, dot org. And tickets are sixty dollars, and they're going quick. So make sure you pick them up quickly. Now, those sixty—that sixty bucks, because you know we, we're, we're dealing with some things here, some pockets. That includes everything, or what does that include? Uh, the ticket price includes barbecue. Uh, you get a, you get all the food you can eat. You get uh, one beverage ticket, live music, and a chance to play lots of games and have a really good time and connect with people in our community. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have less than one hundred tickets left. Am I saying that correctly? Yes, sir. They're, uh, they're going quick and they keep going faster. So we're, we're hoping uh, to sell out. And so there's a good chance that tickets might not be available at the door. So uh, if you're interested in going, definitely get them before beforehand. All right. Well, Mr. Craig, we appreciate you. Last thing before we go, make a good pitch to people why they should come out this upcoming Saturday. Uh, this is going to be a great weekend. We're going to have barbecue, oysters, uh, craft beer, local wine. Uh, it's going to be under this huge tent overlooking the Blue Ridge Mountains. And we've been working really hard to make this better than last year. So uh, definitely it supports a good cause for the Rockland Jerry Health Center to provide, you know, high quality, affordable health care uh, for people in our community.
beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Craig, we do appreciate you joining us this morning. And of course, we'll have all that information you mentioned on our website at WSLS.com. But again, thank you, Mr. Craig, for joining us. Thank you for having me.